That is so grim. This is something you won't see every day. Oh my god. They're just quick. That's the issue. Fine, you won't. Now, I'm just going to put this in and just stretch it a little. Feel funny. Just let me know if it hurts. It shouldn't hurt. It's just like a maggot anyway, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You are. Yeah. Uh, okay. He may be biting him, so he may not come out like that. I just want to, I don't want it to slip. I don't know how good these forceps are. It's a big one. Okay. Christ's sake. Oh, oh my god. You're like that big? Yeah. What oh, like man. Annoyingly so. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Keep watching. Ouch. It's alright. No, no, it's not hurting, don't worry. As much as the ones were at the airport. These tweezers at the airport might look cheap. You've done them at the end. Yeah, Dad, you don't want to pull too much in case it ruptures. It's okay. There we go. You did actually do it. Good girl, well done, Anna. You are a star. You are the bear grillis of the female world. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. <laughs> Kill them, dry them. You can keep them then. I'm sure to you. Of course. Because what if they can dehydrate or rehydrate and come out again? <laughs> They're not going to take any risks. I was considering contacting like someone and seeing if they wanted to do. I read an article about a guy who had them, and he contacted like a uni or something mm. and said, "I'm willing to keep them on my arm if you want to do research." Obviously, I wouldn't say that, but yeah. if someone wanted to practice or do research in them or something. Oh, that's so nice. Come on, blimey, Ada. I just thought your arm was really sore. Yeah. It, it was really sore at times. It looks like it should be horrifically sore. Fully alive still, I mean, yes. Grotesque things, aren't they? Yeah. 